Howdy y'all, welcome to Nerd Studio. We're real excited today to have out at the range the FNS9 Compact. Now, it, you'll be able to go back and look at some other videos I've done on this guy's big brother, the FNS9, and I really, really like the gun. Didn't shoot it as well as I did the Glock, and so when it came time to, to choose that range of kind of house pistol, full-size duty pistol, I went with the Glock 17. I just shot it better. I picked this gun up uh, yesterday at Rock City Guns, Rick ordered it in for me. The trigger feels better than the FNS9, so I'm really excited to shoot it. Um, it's an incredibly versatile gun. Of course, all these polymer guns th these days can really do this, but you've got uh, 12 rounds with the pinky magazine, which is nice. I'm not at the table, and I don't have my camera girl, so I have to put up with me moving around a little bit. And you've got 12 rounds without the, the pinky ledge there, which some of you might like. And then you've got the 17 rounder with the full extension, turns this almost into a full size duty pistol. I'm really digging it. You know, these FN pistols are incredibly well made. Uh, they're fully ambidextrous. Uh, the, the feature set on these guns is you know, kind of like none other. It is a really solid, solid shooter. Hopefully I shoot this one a little better. Um, if I do, this might give my Glock 19 a run for its money. Although it's kind of in size between the Glock 19 and the Glock 26, so uh, it might actually go in the rotation for a gun I carry though. Let's see how it goes. The trigger's pretty stout on this gun. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but I'm going to guess it probably goes uh, probably six pounds. We'll see. I'll, I'll measure it upstairs and I'll, I'll post it in the comments in the video or in the description of the video. Uh, as expected, these, these, uh, the grip on these FN pistols are really aggressive, and so I'm feeling that a little bit, which is, you know, I've, I've got the soft computer nerd hands, and, but I am feeling it in the palm of my hand. I don't know if you can... It's right in its name there in the palm of my hand. But the gun feels good. It's very controllable. The grip is different. I've been shooting a lot of Glocks lately, and I can tell because the, the grip angle on this guy is different. The, the bore axis is a little higher. A little time to adjust. Okay, we're going to shoot at some paper. I've got the 17 round magazine in. I really want to give the gun uh, as much chance as I can to, to you know, really figure out the trigger and get a good purchase on the grip uh, to really give it a good evaluation. Well, as much as you can for the first couple hundred rounds down range, but I want to kind of give you my opinion on it. I know uh, when, I, when I gave up the, the, uh, the full size model, there were a bunch of people who went, hey, you're nuts, you're nuts, not, not, don't give up that for the Glock. So, you know, in, in, in deference to that, I want to give it a really good shot and try and hit the target well. We'll see how it does. One of the things I really love about uh, out of the box with these FN guns 
is that giant front sight. It really makes this gun easy to put on target. So there we are at 45 feet. I'm pretty darn pleased with that out of the box. That trigger isn't broken. It's the first uh, 100 rounds. That's not bad at all. I was shooting its uh, the, the FN, FN uh, S9 low and left almost constantly. So this is much better. Uh, perhaps I uh, had a less than optimal trigger in that, in that example of the FN S9. I'm pleased with that. I'm going to move up, uh, get within 20 feet or so, and give that a whirl. First rounds downrange with the FNS 9C. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm very pleased. Uh, the trigger is very crisp. It doesn't have uh, as positive a reset as my Glocks do. Of course, my, my Glock triggers, have, I've all had a little work done on them. Uh, Glenn at Rock City Guns helped me out with that. This trigger, though, uh, has got some room to break in, so I'm pretty excited about it. This will definitely be a series on this gun to sort of work up to an NGS report on it. You know, it's a really, really well handling piece. The only thing I don't like about it so far is this back strap is really aggressive. But I need to toughen up. All right, folks, always remember that was goofy, wasn't it? Always remember anyone can shoot, anyone can shoot and have fun. And if you can get your, your hands on an FNS 9C, I can already tell you, you'll have fun shooting it. We'll see you next time. Thank you.